Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. A lot of great stories today. All those stories will be time marked down below. So hope you guys all enjoy the first one you guys saw in the title. And a lot of you guys actually asked me on Twitter about this yesterday about skinsjar.com, a popular trading website out there. And everyone's been asking Jake, when are they coming back? What's wrong with the website? If you guys go to their website on screen, you will notice they've been down for 12 hour maintenance. They've actually been down for this for almost two days now. And I can tell you honestly and unfortunately, they will most likely not be returning to the CSGO trading scene. And they have most likely shut down their business for good. Now why this is, is because apparently over $500,000 in skins across all of their bots were banned just yesterday. Actually them and Case Jar, two different websites, share their bots and they were both banned. So unfortunately enough, if you guys have money on their website, that trading website acted a lot like OP Skins. You could have a wallet and inventory on their website. So if you guys had skins or money on that site, it seems unfortunately, uh, you know, not very, very likely you actually get your money back. And it's also very unique because this is actually a sponsor of SK Gaming. Ever since Phelps joined SK, you guys can see the post on screen. They actually sponsor and are still a current sponsor for SK Gaming, so a very reputable source, but it seems very likely they will not be coming back to the trading scene. So I do apologize, guys, but for my informant, who actually actually remains to be anonymous, I can't tell you guys who it is, and thank you to him. He actually told me their website was shutting down because their bots have been banned and they lost so much money in those skins. So unfortunately for now, Skins Jar will not be coming back. But in bigger CSGO news, guys, it does seem our favorite players and teams out there are finally taking a break from CSGO and this is actually in breaking news announced yesterday by Shroud after Cloud9's exit and after their loss he tweeted out this saying that all the top teams out there will be taking a break throughout the month of August. Now that actually is a coincidence the month of August being one of those months which usually has the least amount of tournaments because it usually follows a major from July you know we had last year Cologne and of course this year we have PGL Krakow and most summers we do have a major so it is not an it's definitely a coincidental choice for the players I'm not going to take away from that though because the oversaturation for these guys for the past two to three years has been insane and I'm so glad Glad. Now though, I actually I'm gonna ask you guys a question here. What teams do you guys think are not gonna take a break through August? Of course, there are gonna be smaller tournaments weekend by weekend in August, but of course in July in August itself, the only big tournament is gonna be DreamHack Malmo at the end or towards August 30th. But what teams do you guys think are actually gonna compete before that? Because when I think of you know not your top teams, when I think of lower tier teams, at least before the major, I thought of Penta, I thought of Big being those those tier two teams who would love to compete any chance they got. I think of Heroic NIP, but I would love to see those big big top teams actually take a full month break from competition. So it's going to be really fun to see what teams do take breaks and what teams decide to compete anyway when the other teams are off on their break and try and win as much money as possible, which I really can't blame them for. So finally, guys, the CSGO player break has come and it will be for the month of August. Now, bouncing off that, guys, talking about a CSGO trading website out there and my newest partnership, I'm not sure if it's going to be a long term or not, but I would love to see you guys support me on this. It's actually going to be with a website known as CSGO Swap. Their link will be down below, guys, and I do get paid a little small affiliate fee if you guys use their website with using my link first. So thank you guys all for that. It's a trading website that's been out there for quite some time. Very reputable and it will not shut down like Skins Jar. That was okay. That was a low blow. Anyway, bouncing off that guys again. Thank you all for the great support on that. I do want to talk about the crouch jump bug and the players that did use it in the last two days of the major after the overall gentleman's agreement was made. So I want to show you guys some clips. First of all, it was Seas versus Immortals, their crucial match there. He was obviously abusing it. Now again, I really don't mind this too much. But I did want to show you guys that clip. And alongside that, we also have other users like Legia in round 19 of their last match. They went 3-0 versus SK here. This is our last match on Inferno. Legia did abuse it as well. So let me know what you guys think about this. I really don't care, but I wanted to show you guys the clips of people that use the crouch jump bug after agreeing not to. Well, yeah. So imagine that Royal Road, perhaps. They've got the confidence. Oh. Uh, if you can make it happen. You know, he probably will, but this time best if I fell. He gets the dink in, but that's all he gets. Oh, that's all he gets. And then other news regarding the crouch jump bug, guys. We also had Simple, who was accused of using this in their last match versus Fnatic, which they did actually lose to. But I really wanted to defend the guy because he came out with three separate tweets, all defending himself, saying, guys, I would not abuse a gentleman's agreement. Here's the proof. Here's the demo. And lastly, the screenshot posted a couple hours ago, or actually many hours ago. People were confused by this screenshot because they were all trying to look at the actual in-game console. Look at the head in the background, guys. Simple was trying to prove that he did not crouch jump bug behind stairs, that you can clearly see 
you know, pretty much his full head, and they was not crouch jump bugging. So, congrats to Simple, you proved it to me, man, and uh, unfortunately, they did lose that game, and Navi is out of the tournament, but congrats to Fnatic for actually winning that game as well. But, you know, really cool here of Simple to actually prove several times over and over that he did not disobey the rules. And although today is a day off for all the pro players who are still left in the major, we did have our first round playoff matches drawn just last night. I'll show you guys a screenshot of those on screen, and I do want to talk about them briefly, because they are some amazing matchups. The first of which is Fnatic Gambit. If you guys remember back from Atlanta, our last major, that was the same first round playoff matchup. That Gambit kind of upset Fnatic back there, and they'll have a rematch in this one, which preempted Hobbit to tweet out this, Deja Vu, because of a rematch there. We also have the two heavy hitters. I think probably two of the best teams, if not the two best teams, still left in the playoffs. They'll be facing off in Astralis versus SK. I'm not sure who to feel more bad for, SK or Astralis, for that draw there, because obviously two of your top five teams in the world, SK probably being your clear and away number one right now, they're going to be facing off in the first round. Along with that, I would say Team Big actually got a pretty lucky draw. Probably one of the lesser teams out there that made the playoffs with Immortals being that pick. Unfortunately, not, Immortals still playing very well, but I think Big got very lucky with that draw, having the, the chance against them. The only better team, I think, against Big would have been maybe a Team North, and that would be North versus Virtus Pro there. So some great matchups there. Going to make for a great uh, first round of playoffs tomorrow, guys. So please stay tuned for that. Now, I also want to talk about as well, we have a new segment on this channel that I'm so proud to announce and so excited to announce, and thank you guys for contributing to that. It'll be a community comment or community question every single video. And this one is actually going to be thanks to this guy on screen, guys. Where is Spitty? Last episode, I actually announced or actually uh, answered for all of you guys, where is FNX? So for all of you guys who don't know where Spitty is right now, Spitty is still on the inactive roster for Mouse Sports. He was actually benched back in April for Rops. Rops being one of the young up-and-comers, a teenager who is one of the better CSGO players right now. Many of you guys have heard his name in the past few months. He came out and did very well this major, although Mouse Sports did not make playoffs. Yeah, he replaced Spitty on that team, as well as Chris J did return to that team, and they, and they, they stay with that lineup. Many people think that lineup would actually deteriorate. So Spitty is still under contract, I believe, with Mouse Sports. He's also been active on his Twitter and live streaming on Facebook as well. So Spitty is still on that inactive roster. Will he play again? Most likely not on this lineup. Uh, Mouse Sports having a pretty solid lineup as of right now. So as always guys, thank you all so much for your great support. I do want to warn you guys, I'm going to have several sponsors in the next week or so. It'll only be one sponsor per video, but I seriously can't thank you guys enough for using my sponsorship links because that affiliate money, it really adds up over a long time. It's a very small percentage, but actually my computer right now is is pretty crappy. I've had my computer for only a year and a half, but it seems like it's not doing too hot. I'm going to try and bring it into a repair shop, and if that does not work out, it's going to be a very expensive fix. So seriously, thank you guys for supporting me and my sponsorships. And I've actually, ever since my last video, had several emails come to me about sponsorship offers for individual videos, but I'll try and make sure every sponsorship I have is actually going to be inside a CSGO news video, because I think it's kind of a waste to upload individual videos for sponsors, although I do do it for gambling or higher sponsors. I think it's nice to shout out like CSGO Swap, my affiliate link down below inside of a CSGO News episode. So seriously, thank you guys so much. As always, live, love, laugh a lot. Remember, I like you. I will see you all tomorrow. Leave a comment down below so I can reply to it, and I will see you guys. Uh, bye! does make some noise, but not enough. Oh, are, are you, you kidding?